Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is measure of variation, range, variance, and standard deviation on Tableau. Variance and standard deviation, easy, straightforward, range, a little bit more complicated, but we can do it. Knowing measures of central tendency is not enough. Median or average. Both of distribution below here have identical measures of central tendency, but the dispersion are the dispersions are different. So here we have four, uh, three measures: range, largest, minus smallest measurement. So okay, our revenue, the lowest revenue is ten. The largest revenue is twenty-two. So the range is twelve. Twenty-two minus ten. Variance, the average of square deviations of all population measurements from the population mean, are very useful for stats, but on regular business, we go more on the standard deviation. That is the square root of the population variance. So the range, largest minus the smallest, measures the interval spanned by all the data. Variance is the average of square deviations of the individual measures from the mean. Individual measure minus the mean square, all of the sum divided by number of uh, number of the population. So we have the population variance if we are grabbing all numbers divided by n. Or a sample, we are not collecting all data. For instance, usually when we are talking about accounting data, uh, revenue, unless we are taking all revenues, we are taking a sample. So divided by n minus 1. But usually these are large numbers because they are squared. However, the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. And then, if my mean is 10, my standard deviation will be 2 or 3 and so on. And we will be working with some very cool info on Tableau. But how can we do that on Tableau? So we have here two companies, Coca-Cola and PepsiCo, with info about net income and cash flow from operating activities. I call it on the cash flow to make it smaller. And then let's go on Tableau. Remember, Tableau is not a database, so we need to have the number on some database. And guys, Tableau file, uh, Excel file, they are on video description, as well as the same video using Excel. So here, measures of variation. Here we are. Coca-Cola, net income and cash flow. So sheet one, company, oops, company here. And let's create a range. The range is the hardest one. Maximum minus minimum values. We don't have it uh, pre-built, so we need to do it. So analysis, create calculated field. So here, range or cash flow range. How do we do that? Maximum. What is the expression? Cash flow and okay. Maximum cash flow minus minimum cash flow. Okay. And now the net income range. Create another calculated field. Uh, net income range. Again here, maximum. Or if we don't want to drag here, just start typing net income minus minimum net income. And then go on tab. Okay, net income range. So, okay, we want to go with the range. Coke and Pepsi, cash flow range and net income. So cash flow range, let's put it here. Net income range here 
Or if we want to combine both companies in only one, here is how we do it. So just click here, and if it is just like this, just click here, and we have the... Oh, come on. Yes. Here. So here the range. And then I there are two companies here. I want the future it. Company future add on the first future. Both. Okay. Company, if you go on show future, the future will be here. I want to see only PepsiCo. I want to see only Coke, only Coca-Cola, or both companies. So this is for the range. Let's go another one for the variance. So company, the same. Now it is more straightforward. So cash, instead of sum, click here, measure, uh, where are you? Variance, not variance population because we are only collecting some data. Variance, and we can, uh, so variance for cash flow, and here variance for net income. And then show me, oh, see that the colors are not the same. Wow, the variance for PepsiCo or the variance for of cash flow is large here on range. We have here cash flow on blue, net income on orange. So we can also do that here. Edit colors, blue, orange. And we have the same. If we want to add the future, I will tell you show filter or not because we will be work with only one filter. So how do we do that? Company apply to worksheet using related data source. And then if I move here to only PepsiCo, we have only PepsiCo here as well. And we don't need to have filters on all of them because we will create a dashboard later. How do we do that? So here, oops, a standard deviation. Okay, company, and then future here because the company is here. Let's go and show me. We will go on this one. Cash flow, net income. They are here again. Oops, color, edit colors. But oops, we need a standard variation, not a sum. So just click here. So when we add the colors and this graph here, we don't, uh, Tableau moves these measure values here. So let's go measure a standard deviation, measure, is standard deviation. And here we have the same behavior. See? Why? Because standard deviation is the square root of the oh, come on. The square root of variance. And here another very interesting scenario that we can go here is to combine average and standard deviation. So here, let's call it cash flow. So let's combine it for cash flow. Filters, they are here. Cash flow, cash flow. Let's combine first one average, the second one standard deviation and let's go on this scenario and here look at what we have average and standard deviation of cash flow 
for Coke and Pepsi. And then, average, 2.4, 1.1. So, around two-thirds of our number will be between two-thirds, 66%. Between average, minus, or plus one standard deviation. So, it will be between here, one, 131 to 449. So, it will be between one... Uh, 1.3 and 3.5. Here, look at how interesting. The average is quite the same, but the variant or the standard deviation for PepsiCo is much larger. So the revenues or here, the uh, cash flow uh, of, of Coca-Cola is smooth. Is PepsiCo is kind of random. And we can do the same for net income. So we can come here, measure average, measure standard deviation, and then go on this chart here we have here uh, for net income average and the standard deviation. And here we can click here and we will have only one or we can have both and so on. So here, uh, these one, they are a little bit similar. So average net income also the same, but the uh, standard deviation is lower on Coke, but not that lower anymore. So the dispersion will not be that uh, lower or that higher for PepsiCo. And we can add some dashboards. For instance, range. Variance. standard deviation. And here, look at how cool it is. If I change one, it will change for all of them. And then cash flow is the blue, net income is the orange. So here we have Coca-Cola, variance of net income, variance of cash flows, and so on. So here, for instance, we can call it Variance and the standard deviation. And there is no title. So here, show title. You see how the range for PepsiCo is larger as well. So that shows that the variance and the standard deviation are greater. And let's go to the second dashboard that is average and the standard deviation. So let's do the same, range first and then cash flow and net income. Uh, so here, average standard deviation, average standard deviation, and here the same. And if I go here on PepsiCo, change here and also here. So both dashboards, we have the same control over it on filter. And then let's show title. Two very, very cool dashboards. And then much easier to show anyone how our data behaves. How is the behavior of our data? Interesting, huh? Interesting and easy. Very, very easy to do it on Tableau. Much easier than on Excel. And this dashboard with filters, it is amazing. So, guys, thank you so much. 
If you have questions or comments, email me at jscarping at gmail.com or leave it here. And have a very nice day and God bless you.